Hey guys, Michael's Getting Greasy Garage, and uh, yeah, got back from my trip. You guys saw the car show video I went to, and there was a few shorts, and I spent the uh, last, we got back last, a week ago yesterday, so I've just been doing so many little things here around the shop that weren't really video worthy. Uh, Made some improvements. Uh, got some other things going on. Um, actually getting ready to make some big steps on projects. And as you can see in front of you, this is the 5.3 turbo motor out of the $1,000 auto. Yes, it's out again. Thought I had it whipped. Obviously not. So... Where we're at on this thing is, see if I can turn up here by hand. Nah, not with one hand, but so after having this thing line board, um, having a crank machined properly, I put it all back together. Everything felt good on assembly. Everything measured out with plastic gauge. Uh, turned over by hand, nice and easy, and stuck it back in the truck. And the day that I, or the morning that I thought I was going to get to do the video, showing it start, it turned slowly, slower than it should, and flat refuses to build oil pressure. So, thankfully, I use a lot of assembly lube when I put a motor together. Um, I primed this motor both through the oil pressure passage. And no, I never do put the screens back in here. The, there's a, a filter screen that plugs up and causes the oil pressure gauges not to work in these motors. I never put them back in. Uh... This is the turbo oiling line. Comes outside the pan here. I never got oil to come out of this line. Uh, let's see what else here. I had this oil galley plug opened. That goes straight through into the oil pump, which is right behind this cover. I had oil here. As far as there was oil in the passage. And I didn't spin it because... I don't want to make a mess, um, but again, I'm not getting oil out this line. I could hear air coming out of it, you know, pumping the air out of the system. Motor wouldn't spin very fast. Um, put a different starter in it. The original, it actually had the original GM starter in it and it finally bit the dust. Put a starter in it, and that was a Scamazon starter. And it was actually a good one that got good reviews. And as soon as I hooked up the battery cable, the damn solenoid broke. So I don't know if it was damaged in shipping and I didn't catch it or whatever, but Scamazon gave him another one. I'll move you over here to the other side. So Put that starter in, still turns slow. Um, just kind of frustrated with this thing. I have a, in it, a lot of time in it, and I need to get it done and out of here so that it can get to its next stage of completeness. So I just decided, since it's not that difficult to pull an LS, kind of like pulling a small block shaft out of a pickup, Takes very few tools, and I've got this down to a science. If we're going to pull it out, I have another oil pump that I'm going to go ahead and stick in it because I don't, I cannot find where I got the oil pump that's in this from. I don't know if it's a melling or not, but either way, it's not building pressure. Um, and then I'm, so basically, where I'm at is I'm going to hook up some. Great big 
uh, heavy duty jumper cables to the starter here on the stand tomorrow, which I'll video that. See if this thing spins like it's supposed to or what I think it's supposed to. Um, I even took all the spark plugs out on this side, so the thing should spin really good with the starter. So we'll do the test tomorrow. I'm not going to use the factory battery cable. I, I'm kind of thinking that maybe this cable is shot or the ground cable is shot and I mean everything else works in the truck it just doesn't spin like it's supposed to spinning so slowly that it's not even getting a RPM signal to the ECM and I just absolutely know that this motor is not too tight let's see if I can get a hold of the flex plate here yeah I mean I'm I'm pulling the flex plate one-handed if it was too tight I wouldn't be able to do that and I measured everything all the all the bearings were in spec um, when I have the pan off to do the oil pump I am going to Remeasure all the rod bearings Just to verify again. This thing's driving me crazy um, I'm half tempted to just buy Another motor Take all the goodies out of this one put them in another But uh, I don't know. I don't know the thing's driven me crazy. I spent way too much time on it uh, there's no profit on this thing in a long time ago and so but there's the truck I moved it out of the shop as you can see we got an empty bay so this motor is going to go in the shop we're going to move the 260 out so we can get the 429 out of there Move the 429 over here after we pull the fair lane out so I can put the motor in the fair lane. So it's getting getting really close to getting the fair lane running. Uh, got I mean there's a lot of loose ends on a lot of little things, but I need to get the engine in so I can wrap stuff up. But yeah, that's where that's at is this. Do that motor. Um, you know, get some of these projects done and get something else in here. When the fair lane comes out, it's going to sit in this spot out here and be finished up so that I can stick my 59 Willys uh, postal Jeep in the shop and do the rust repair on my own vehicle for once. Hopefully I can be driving that around before the end of summer. Uh, this Saturday I'll be at, a, at the uh, Rob Knockers Car Show in Eatonville, Washington. I'll be up there. I'll, I'll get a video of that if anybody's in the Eatonville, Washington area and wants to stop by and meet me. Um, most of the time I'll be with my buddy in his 59 Ford pickup, Rusty Red. It'll probably be the only 59 Ford pickup with a patina paint job on it. So you can find me there. And uh, that ought to be fun. It is car show season. But I'm really hoping I can get this straightened out. And get this truck, get this motor back in so it'll run and go on a car trailer go get exhaust. Once it gets exhausted, it can come back and get finished. So, this starter was the original one. But literally, and a lot of these tools are just doubles. That's all the tools I need, I can need, to, or I need to pull the uh, engine out of them, out of a 2003 Silverado. They don't take a lot. 8, 10, 13, 15, all metrics. So, anyway guys, I'm kind of rambling here. It's been a long day. 
and uh, just wanted to give you guys kind of a where the where this project's at. So anyway, guys, would give the video a thumbs up. That really helps out the channel. And uh, you know, like, share, comment, subscribe. All that stuff's free. Doesn't cost you a penny. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay greasy, my friends.